Hey there boys and girls. Today is going to be really cool because we are going to learn how to draw a scorpion and there will be a special announcement at the end of this video. The first thing we're going to do is open a program on our computer called Paint. Every Windows based computer has it already installed but if you're using a Mac or a tablet of some kind there'll be a program that's pretty similar. I am definitely not an artist, but a very wise person once told me that almost everything in nature is made up of some kind of circle. For our scorpion, we're going to use a lot of ovals, which are really just a circle that's kind of stretched out. So if we make enough ovals, and we make them a little bit smaller each time, we end up with the basic shape of a scorpion. Any time that you need to adjust one of your ovals, just click and drag it to the position or size that you want. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to zoom in so that you can see what you're doing just a bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best that you can. We're going to make the end circle a little bit bigger and you'll see why in a minute. For his arms, we're just doing the same thing. Remember to leave the last one a little bit bigger. It's time to make some legs, so we're going to choose this little icon that will allow us to make squiggly lines. On this particular program, once you draw the line, you can click twice to make it curve. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is click the undo button and it will erase the last thing that you did. As you can imagine, I use that button a lot. You can also modify your line by clicking and dragging. Oops, it looks like we goofed a bit, but no problem. All we need to do is select this little eraser icon to get rid of it. Just make sure that you change back to the squiggly line icon before you start again. Okay, our legs are done, so now let's make the claws. It's pretty easy. Just erase the end of each circle and then select the straight line icon and make two little lines connect just like this. Looks pretty good. Let's do the stinger next, and I'll bet you already know what to do. Yep, erase part of it and fill it in with a straight line. Now 
I think our scorpion needs some eyes. But remember, be as creative as you want. Up here we can choose different colors, or even two colors. Let's see what it will look like if we choose red and blue. That looks pretty cool, so let's add them to our creature. Like I said, sometimes it helps to zoom in so you can make some adjustments. Of course, every artist autographs their work, so if we choose the little text icon, we can make that happen. Remember, you can change it to whatever color you want. Now we want to make sure that we save our work, and save it as a JPEG file if you can. I already had one called Scorpion that I practiced on earlier, so let's replace that one with the new one. And just like that, you have made a scorpion. But now it's time for the announcement that you've all been waiting for. And that is, we want you to design a very cool 4-H shirt. You do not have to be a good artist, and your design can be almost anything. It could be wild animals, or even your pet. It can be you and your friends or fun activities, anything you want, and then save it as a JPEG. And then have your mom or dad email that file to us here at Ridley. I'll put the email link in the description down below. And the best part is that once we get all of the entries, we'll pick a winner. And that person will have their design put on a t-shirt. And we will send you that t-shirt absolutely free. Yes, you heard that right. If your design is chosen as the best, we'll put it on a t-shirt and send it to you, and it won't cost you a penny. Okay, that's it. Get out your computer or your tablet and get busy. The deadline for entries is June 30th, so it's time for you to get creative. Have a great day, and thanks for watching Explore with Ridley.